All right, guys, welcome back. Survival Living here. So, they want to control our food. Lab-grown meats, lab-grown fats. They want to have full access to what you can and cannot eat. All right, guys, so last night I found an article, and I went and popped it up there in our community post, speaking about the lab-grown fats. They have successfully done lab-grown fats in the process to make their lab-grown meat, their cultured meat, their engineered meat, to taste better, taste more like your normal cow or pork or chicken or whatever. So a while back, we did a video about, uh, oh, Billy Gates, all right? We were talking about his involvement in the culture meat process and locking down our farmlands. It makes sense to me. Lock down the farmlands, be the only one that can provide food, monopoly in the economy, monopoly in the, the market there. Uh, I began, began thinking about some other things too, guys. So, if you have it where all you can access is their meats government's got full control over you now this is a big thing here they're growing from stem cells by the way yeah it's, if you read up on cultured meat and where they're actually getting their biopsies from they get it from live animals and or stem cells <laughs> yeah so what they're going to wind up doing guys they're going to make it so that you can not have livestock we already see companies like, what was it, Monsanto's and others that have the GMO foods. Unfortunately, most of our foods today has GMOs in it. Yeah, they did that trial run study on everybody. In my belief, this whole thing about cultured meat, engineered meat grown in a lab in a Petri dish, your GMO vegetables, things that they control because... That you have to buy their seeds they can't repollinate or reproduce you have to buy new seeds every year is to control everything they're going to make it in my opinion illegal to have livestock to have your own garden i mean many people here depends on where you live at apartment complexes hoas um just depends on where you're at sometimes even in the cities because there's not even hoa it's just you're in the city limits you can't even have a garden in your yard they'll, they'll find you you know, when I was out in Arizona, I know the laws have changed since then, but back when I was living in Arizona and have property out there, I got an $80 ticket for collecting rainwater on my own property. Yeah, it was illegal for me to collect rainwater as collection for my garden. They want full control. This is what's going to be a game changer for all of us. Us preppers as well. So unless you're rich, Rockefeller rich, Elon Musk rich, we cannot prepare for this. All right. If they take full control of all of our food and make it so that farming, gardening, having livestock on property, your own chickens, your own goats, things of that nature, your own cows, if they make this happen, and I believe they're pushing it, I believe they're going to try their best to make it accomplish, and I'm kind of worried that it will happen. We can only stock so much food, right? You know, they're pushing, and they've been pushing the whole Green Deal horse crap. Or maybe I should say cow fart. Yeah, hashtag. Um, they've been pushing this. So we saw the writings. We saw that they were trying to get rid of agriculture. They're trying to get rid of cows, our beef, because the cow's methane levels are so high, destroying our ozone, destroying our earth while they fly around in their jets and everything else. Yeah. While they shoot massive rockets out in space. I wonder how much pollution does those things make? It's curious. When they launch their satellites, all this stuff, you know, they come up with that carbon footprint, tax credits, carbon tax, buy your carbon tax, all that stuff, while other countries are just dumping stuff right into the ocean, polluting like crazy, but 
like here in America and other countries, we all got to pay for it because of somebody else. I would not be surprised if they push the lab-grown meats and the GMO foods, you know, the hardened seeds that can grow in anything because of some disaster. The only way to get Americans on board and others on board and, and change like this is to be the savior, be the hero. We came up with a solution while you were starving. Think about it. We've got all this stuff going on with Russia. We see China manipulating and getting in position for Taiwan. We see the sandbox getting heated up. We see the BRICS. I mean, I just read an article that Mexico's thinking about joining. Latin America's thinking about joining the BRICS. That's for the you know, devastation of the American dollar, economic-wise. When this happens, there's going to be an event. And they're going to be the ones that can produce the meats you eat. The pork, chicken, beef. All grown in a lab. They're the ones that's going to have the seeds, agricultural, to grow in harsh environment because they're genetically modified. It will be able to use less water, hardy against radiation levels, something like that. But when they have full control over this, you and me, we don't have access to it. There's going to be some type of health scare on livestock. We've seen that before where they've culled chickens, minks, massive amounts, mink farms, chicken farms, just culled them all because of some type of viral incident. You know, as preppers, we try to stockpile as much food as possible. But can you stockpile enough food to carry your family and the generations after indefinitely? I can't. I'll be honest. I can't. I don't have the means or the space or the security to keep it secured. There's just no way. This is one of those issues, uh, uh, SHTF scenario, that I just cannot prepare for. We continue to stock up. Of course we do. I encourage you to as well. I encourage you to get out there, learn skills, fishing, hunting, but that's going to become illegal as well. So it's going to be left down to what are you going to do for you and your family? It makes you wonder about a lot of things. You know, I don't get on the biblical rant on my channel because it's all interpretation as far as what you get from it when you read it. Everybody has a different version as far as when they read something. I will say this much. To control the food, you have to be the producer of the food. You know, the whole revelation thing? You can't buy or sell, can't trade without the mark. You can't get hold of anything for your family to eat because it's illegal and there is no way of growing your own food or livestock. You have to go to daddy government to get your monthly allotment. Just a thought. But anyway, guys, like I said, I don't get up here and preach at people. Why? Because I'm not a preacher. All right? I'm just not. I'm a prepper. I'm a realist. I look at things. I see where the trend in society is going, and I don't mean the next viral video. I see what is going on with our governments. I see what is going on behind the scenes as much as possible when I catch a glimpse behind that curtain. And I come up here and give you my opinions and my thoughts on the process, on what's going on. It doesn't mean I'm correct. Trust me, plenty of people here would disagree with me on just anything I say. This coffee is good. How dare you? I don't like coffee. I don't give a shit. So anyway, guys, keep prepping. This one here, please fill out in the comments what you think we need to be doing as far as preparedness for this. Is there is there some way of preparing for this? Because I'm not seeing an answer to this one. Unless it's a complete uprising against a tyrannical government and everything. But quite honestly... 
I'm not seeing that working as well. This is beyond the U.S. presidency and government. This is something we're seeing on a global scale. This is this is coming no matter what. So how do we prepare for that? It's being engineered to have something major happen and they will have the answer, which was all manufactured. So we have to do something. Just my thoughts. Speak to you guys later.